Greetings everyone and welcome to Nims Toots, the show where we teach you how to build something awesome in Minecraft. I'm Nims and I run Dim Dare here tutorials and today we're going to be making a cow grill. This little beauty separates cedar cows from harvest cows, automatically cooks steak and collects everything in a chest. It also works with sheep, although a dedicated sheep farm would probably be better. I've got a little demo set up for you here. Simply activate breed mode by pressing on the water, which allows you to easily spam the mob with wheat. You'll then see the offspring flow forward down into the front holding cell. Man, that's a tongue twister. Say that five times fast. Uh, where they'll spend the next 20 minutes before they hit adulthood. Once your baby animals have all matured, hit the harvest button where the lava blade will be quickly dispensed and gathered, killing and cooking your mob. All right, and now you've seen what it does, so let's move on to the tutorial. We're gonna start out by placing a chest. This is wherever you want your final collect chest collection point to be. Then we're going to be placing a hopper facing into the back of the chest. Then we need to make a three by five platform off the back of that hopper or including that hopper, I guess I should say. So something like that. Then we're gonna put two more solid blocks there and there. Then we need to come back and on the right side, let's get perspective real quick. So on the right side, the fourth block back, we're going to be adding a sticky piston facing up with a solid block on top. Step two starts off with a dispenser being placed here on the side. On the left side, then we need to take two solid blocks up here, place a button on the middle. Now there should be three, so in the middle there should be a button and then a sign on this upper block here. Then coming around to the side slash back, uh, off that button we need to place a piece of redstone, then a redstone repeater at a one tick delay, a redstone repeater here facing inwards from this piston. Uh, then we can either go with redstone dust here or a solid block, your pick. Then two more redstone repeaters there and there facing into the back of that dispenser. Then we need to make like a staircase up, great job. Some redstone dust here, here, and here. Good, good, good. Then a block here, here, here. Well, actually, we're just going to extend that out until it covers the top of that dispenser. Uh, and make sure that is a dispenser and not a dropper. Then we need to place a repeater here facing in a solid block, followed by two bits of redstone there and there. And that will be it for step two. Good job so far. Now step three is going to get a little bit involved, so try to keep up. Uh, we're going to come up here and face this redstone repeater here. Then we need to place a solid block here, and then off the side of the solid block, place another dispenser facing inwards. Then we need to build up here, 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 and then uh, it gets a little finicky again. We need to place a half slab on top of that sign, so it's kind of floating there. Then off the side of that half slab, we need to place a solid block there. And then in the upward position on that sign, we need to place another half slab. We can breed them through this hole, and I like to make a half slab floor. I feel like it gets the player at the perfect height. We can breed them through this hole here, or by placing a ladder here, we can now jump up and breed them from up here. Then the last thing that we need to do is come around to the side, add another solid block there, and place some redstone dust there, there, and add a button. And now you're almost, almost done. Then we just need to add water into this back dispenser, a lava bucket into this front dispenser. Maybe you want to label these. The top button will be for breed mode. The bottom button will be for kill and slash or harvest mode. From here, you are complete. The only thing that you have to do is using either like a lead or a wheat to lure in some cows or some sheep. Note that this farm will not work with pigs or chickens. So before you ask, no. Just no, 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 no. Uh, and then once you get them in there, just breed, 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 breed away. And uh, then once the babies grow, you just hit that harvest button. It double dispenses that lava blade. And then you got your cooked food inside that chest. And that's going to be the end of this tutorial. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, everyone. Here are the two original ones. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. My name is Nims Toots. Well... My name's Nims. This show is named Nims Toots. And because it's a toot, you're, you're always kind of worried about it stinking. So I'm hoping, I'm praying that this show doesn't stink. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ooh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, one more quick note before you go. 
Uh, these uh, repeaters on the side, yes, I could have made this a little bit more efficient, but we added them both in to make sure this thing is future-proof. Right now, the timing is set perfectly for 1.7.2, uh, but if in some future patch, for example, lava blades get dispensed differently, or cows or sheep have different, amount, different amounts of health, you can simply adjust the timings on these three repeaters here to fix this design. So this is future-proof as well. It should never, ever break. Well, it might break, but it should be super, super easy to fix is what I'm getting at. So maybe drop another like, double like the video, you know. Sign in with that other account that you don't want your friends to know about and like the video again. Come on. Anyways, now I'm really done.